Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another little box set review and this time it's King's X, The Atlantic Years, in the new age from 1988 to 1995 from H&E, uh, obviously part of the Cherry Red Records group. So let's have a quick look inside and I'll give you my um, summary at the end. King's X, In the New Age, The Atlantic Recordings from 1988 to 1995. This is on the H&E label imprint for um, cherry red records six discs nice shiny clamshell box as we're used to seeing from um, cherry red and all of the off all the offshoot labels as well the booklet um seems to, is, is a little bit bigger than a normal booklet um it's the same shape as the box normally it's slightly smaller as if the booklet would also fit into a normal digipack or cd case so they've enlarged the booklet slightly i'll come through to that in the end Last of all, really. So the first one uh, is Out of a Silent Planet, which again mimics the original album. Question goes to Nebraska, seen by many as one of their best albums. The same. Faith, Hope and Love. King's X. Dogman. And Ear Candy. And the booklet's quite sparse, and there's no essay explaining any, any background to the band for anyone who's coming to them brand new. All of the text is taken from the original albums from the time. So as you go through it, it's just trying to work out which, which bit goes to which. It's quite simple, but if you're thinking this is like a new essay telling you about looking back at retrospective of what was going on at the time, the impact the music had, it isn't. It's actually text from the actual albums. And all the credits are also included for each album as well, with a few pictures sprinkled around, and then the credits at the end. So that's King's X in the New Age Atlantic Recordings, 1988 to 1995. So, King's X, the Atlantic Years, 1988 to 1995, six CD box set. Um, I totally love this, um, mainly because I was exploring and discovering so much new stuff. Um, prior to this, um, I must say I was around <laughs> and the right kind of demographic to be buying all of this stuff at the time. But this, the album um, that I bought, um, Gretchen Goes to Nebraska, is the one that a lot of my friends bought as well. Um, I absolutely loved it. It's very different. Um, you know, out was it over my head? Brilliant track, but I didn't really, for some reason, follow on with the other albums. And obviously, I missed out on a lot of stuff here. There was such a breath of fresh air compared to what was going on around them, where all the bands were beginning to merge into the same guitar sound and the same vocals, and they all started to look the same. You know, you can see why grunge was going to come along, really. But this band kind of bridged had a foot in both camps, you know, from the fact that they were appealing to, you know, traditional rock metal fans, but obviously the voice and some of the arrangements was ready for what was coming around the corner. They were unfairly kind of described as being like Rush, um, but they weren't at all. They had Sabbath type riffs, um, Beatlesque choruses, and a great like gritty Paul Rogers bluesy lead vocalist um you know and their song arrangements are really really interesting um absolutely love them there was obviously you'll see some things that people said oh they were they a christian band they were christians in a band so they weren't a christian band as in writing songs about christianity that was just their belief system but they just happened to all be together in a band i think you might pick up some undertow of some of that but not really but all of the albums in this set are fantastic. I mean, Out of a Silent Planet is just fantastic. It is absolutely brilliant. My favourite, I thought was going to be the one I'd grown up with, uh, but it wasn't. It was this one, Faith, Hope and Love. I've, this is the one out of the set that I've played the most. Um, Dogman, I know, is some members of the Now Spinning magazine Facebook group have said this is the one. I understand why. 
um, because you've got a live version of Manic Depression by Hendrix and there's, there's a couple of bonus tracks here, Shoes Live and We're Born to Be Loved, um, fantastic. One of my favourites on here um, is, I'll just get my glasses to read what it says, it's very small print, um, I think it's, um, yeah, Moon Jam. It's absolutely, the guitar style on that is absolutely, absolutely incredible. It really, really is. And then there are more, aren't there? There's um, um, the, the other two on there, which I've shown you as well. Absolutely fantastic. The booklet um, obviously creates and reprints what was inside the inner sleeves of the vinyl albums and maybe the previous editions of the cassette. The only thing I would have liked would have been some kind of essay to put these albums in a kind of cultural perspective to get a feel for what was going on and how the bands had kind of come along and the performance and a bit of stats. I know we can go to Wikipedia and get all that stuff if we want, but it would have been nice to have it here as well. But as you saw in the unboxing, you know, all the, you know, all the album artwork is in there and the credits and stuff. So that's fair enough. But as I said, this is one of my favourite um, little box sets so far in 2023 because I'd only got one of the six albums. I realised now what I was missing. And if you're new to this band, because I know a lot of you probably are, actually, and some of you might have all of them, but I have a feeling based on initial feedback um, from talking to people within the Facebook group that this is a wonderful way of collecting all of these together. And there isn't one Duff album they're all fantastic. I lean towards the first three. Um, there's just something about them. There's a couple of bonus tracks on as well. But this is really, really good. So it's out on H&E Recordings, part of Cherry Oak Records. And it's highly recommended. Um, absolutely fantastic band. Let me know what you think. Um, give them a stream if you don't know where to start. I would have said Gretchen Goes to Nebraska from 1989. But, don't know, that, you could just dip in anywhere, really. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Become a patron or a YouTube member. Take care, and I shall speak to you very, very soon.